Hello, everyone, and welcome. Today we launch our 11th moon, Opahowipisim, the flying up moon. We're here again in the, sorry, I'll just start again. We're here again in the foyer of the Gordon Snellgrove Gallery at the Murray Building at the University of Saskatchewan. We're located here on Treaty 6 territory, and I'd like to acknowledge this territory as the original lands of the Nehiao, Anishinaabe, the Soto, the Dene, the Nakota, Dakota, Lakota, and the Métis Michif peoples. As you know, no land acknowledgement is complete without recognizing our need for reparation and moves forward together. We've made this commitment here at University of Saskatchewan and I ask you to join with us as we meet each moon to uh, remember who and why we're here and what we're guided by. And we have the pleasure of many to join us in this path. So as we are on our 11th moon, I was thinking how much has changed since we started this project. We actually started in Jan January of 2020. And since then, we completed the project of the carving uh, off-site in my garage <laughs> with many friends and family. And we've been able to welcome each moon here into this special space. And the space has become more special each month as we, as we join together with our elders, Florence and Evelyn. And each month, we also are met with a knowledge keeper that has been able to address you directly at home. We're very glad to have these documents to move forward with, but we're even more excited about the possibility to bring you into this space and have you experience it yourself and have you start to understand some of the histories and stories that are brought to you by these grandfathers that have now been marked with the grandmother's moon and to think about what the presence of this language will do for you here. We're very well aware that the dialects of the Nihia language are, uh, are complicated. They're not always the same. But we've learned from the moons also that the name of the moon will change depending on where you're located. This ties back to our idea of the land acknowledgement because it's not just to acknowledge the territory, but it's to honor the land and understand what it gives to us and what we can give to each other. So from that spirit, I'm so excited to have watched this place change over time. And I'm so grateful to have been brought into this community um, at the time of COVID, so I've not met so many of you. But here we are now, uh, bringing in our 11th moon, Opehawipisim, the flying up moon. And as always, we'll begin with a greeting from our elders, Florence Highway and Evelyn Linklater. I note Gagishagag <laughs> Ia wigui se agi to mano tigi se gak. E go gimi do pa chita yak. Kai se giske no maga wiak. Kani da wiak isna no. Kani do wiak. Kapita go gui ni do wiak. O maga wi moi mostigi yak. I give me the voice, I go tell me when no. The go get up at she tie up that to get sick out. I go, the way she was gonna wa, we da, tagada see mo, cagido in a ten stoke tag wa go task kick. No tawin and gisiman to save the minana notes cagi cigar, kinanas commit nan that to get sick out. How? I go me na no so maga we yak. I get in choice a miss nanak so we make no semina and a gagado in a go task. Gabby which I make work book it you sit as a widow at Kissimanto. You moi machita go muta got to take a weak the two tamak. You nigga ni moi mostigi a gamis the moa go gagado winak. He go say, Miss Awatski is the Kissimanto giskidi thing. I get a gig way, I get a gig way, the ganita we dine. So the elder just said a prayer in, in our language, which is Cree. We thank you, Creator, for all the beautiful gifts that you are lending us today, and especially our lives. 
so that we may do the good things that we want to do with your strength and guidance. We ask prayers for our families, our children, our grandchildren, great-grandchildren, that they may walk tenderly and in the right direction. Thank you for Mother Earth, the air, the fires and the waters, the very things that keep us alive, the very beautiful things and all the animals in it and the fish and everything that flies. We thank you for all those. We pray for people that are suffering from all these big fires. Keep them safe. Only you know where that is going to go. And we want to thank you again for listening to us. And we ask the grandfathers to come and sit with us for their strength and guidance. And that we be kind to each other, no matter who it is. We always welcome the newcomers, thinking that they come from a strange country and hope that they find some peace in Canada. And we need to help them along. And for everyone that is having a rough time, the homeless, the hospital, the people in a hospital. And we are thankful that we are almost end of COVID. So with that creator, thank you. We thank you again. Hi, my name is Sandy Bonnie, and I work with the College of Arts and Science Indigenous Student Achievement Pathways program, ISAP. And it's my pleasure today during the Flying Up Moon to introduce a special guest. Dr. Jacqueline Ottman is an Anishinaabe Soto, former elementary and high school teacher who's now a scholar, recognized as an international researcher, advocate, and change maker, whose purpose is to transform institutional practices to foster a sense of belonging and appreciation for Indigenous peoples, their histories, stories, and ways of knowing and being across the levels of leadership, research methodologies, and pedagogy. Jackie came to us in 2017 as a professor and vice provost Indigenous engagement. And in this role, she's worked alongside Indigenous and non-Indigenous people within and beyond the university to achieve the academic goals of USASC. In this role, so this is a small summary of her accomplishments. So she has catalyzed initial development of an Indigenous faculty and staff hiring and retention plan, um, indigenized standards for promotion and tenure. She's advocated for decolonization and indigenization of the institutional research, data, governance, and management mechanisms. And she has advanced Indigenous research and anti-racism strategy support and brought to life the Mamoli Asotitan, our Internal Truth and Reconciliation Forum, which was awarded the 2021 Prix d'Excellence Award Silver Medal for Best Indigenous Relations Initiative by the Canadian Council for Advancement in Education. Um, way back at the start of her term on campus, though, she also participated in something very special, um, which was when she agreed out of the blue to a request to join us on a very cold winter mon Monday um, and to come to the space outside the Arts Tower wearing steel-toed boosts. And she did this without asking any additional questions <laughs> and uh, participated in a visual and performative representation of decolonization and the creation of space within our institution um, by alongside our Dean, Peter Bonham-Smith, artist Ruth Cuthand, and one of our ISAP peer mentors, Kenneth Cook, uh, she smashed a piece of Tyndall stone. <laughs> Uh, the pieces were reconstituted under the leadership of Vanessa Higgin and Ruth Cuthand into a, a piece of really beautiful art that you'll be able to see when campus opens. It's at the top of the arts ramp, right outside the door to our Dean's hallway. So given her participation in that project, I'm really glad she's able to participate in this one and uh, to come and help us install these slate stair treads. Uh, they also represent a community effort, not only recently during the carving of the stones, um, by our campus community, which began only a month before the COVID-19 pandemic came, um, but also their transformation and reshaping took place over 100 years as students marked their surfaces moving between spaces and places of learning. And can you see the, the wear pattern in the stairs? I'm not sure in the video if the light is catching it. Our cameraman says kind of, when you come in person, you'll be able to see um, the wear mark of, of all that learning. So it's getting a little poetic here, but I'm leading up to say um, how grateful we are that Jackie is joining us today um, because she is soon moving to a new space of teaching and learning as well. So she's flying up during the flying up moon to a new position as president at the First Nations University of Canada. 
And uh, certainly here at UVS, she's left her mark. And I've no doubt that we'll continue to benefit from her leadership within our shared spaces of teaching and learning in Saskatchewan. So, Jackie. Anin dina maganak, mizuwek kami gok pepa mo teng dizenakas, inge chicken dam mio mayan nugum. Hello, all my relations. My name is Jackie Ottman, and I'm very happy to be here today um, at this particular event and um, would like to recognize all of my relations. And I'm currently Vice Provost of Indigenous Engagement at the University of Saskatchewan. And as was just mentioned by, by Sandy, um, I will be experiencing a flying up of my own very soon. So I welcome this opportunity to introduce to you um, the flying up moon or Ohpa Owipisum. And um, so I've got a few words and um, and basically I, I had to write this down because because there was so much coming at me in terms of, of um, this particular moon, uh, the flying up moon. And so during this moon, um, after a time of being nurtured in a nest and experiencing the world from the ground, a new generation of birds take flight. There's so much symbolism in the flying up moon for our First Nations, Métis and Inuit students and for all people. This moon has me thinking about the rite of passage. In taking flight, there is the experience of pushing past a boundary into a whole new perspective, a whole new world. In taking flight for the first time, the once baby winged ones see creation in a new way. And once this step is taken, they can never unsee this new space. Everything has just gotten more expansive for them, richer in color and scope. And there are, there are new freedoms and opportunities to become more self-determined. As students, you are in this place right now. I encourage you to take a step back to really see, to deeply see the view, to see the opportunities that lie ahead of you and don't ever lose sight of these opportunities. So learning is a very important part of this process. Dr. Gregory Kehede, a Tewa Pueblo scholar, defines education as coming to know. In life, we come to know many things. We come to know our discipline. We discover our discipline, our career path. We come to know the relationship between dependence and interdependence of handling and coping with new situations, of learning how to reach out to new people and supports and ways to stay connected, of taking care of self in holistic ways. You will come to know how to take flight gracefully, ensuring that you come down to earth to rejuvenate, to rest, to reflect on the next leg of the journey. I've learned there are many opportunities to reach for the sky. The flying up moon is a time that all of our non-human relatives begin to prepare for the future and perhaps the winter. And for some, the preparation is for the long journey ahead, the marathon flight into the deep south. Like our winged relatives, we were meant to fly in our own unique ways. We have to strengthen and exercise our wings, learn many valuable lessons, discover and intentionally nurture creator given gifts, talents and skills. We were meant to experience beauty of all creation, to be stewards of relationships, to see the world from various different vantage points. And like our winged relatives, we have an internal compass that guides us home. Home can be a physical space and place, and it can be leaning into who you were meant to be. 
It can mean never compromising who you are as an Indigenous person. It can mean being comfortable with you and loving who you are. Home is a place that resides inside you. This is where your internal compass resides. Trust it and get to know it. I had parents that encouraged me to excel, to be who I am, to continue learning um, and leaning into my destiny. And they also encouraged me to grow into my name, Mizueka Megokpepa Motang. They encouraged me to excel in schooling. They encouraged me to excel in my career, to be a good mother, partner, friend, sister, and daughter. And they encouraged me to fly, to rest, and to fly again. As a mother, I had many opportunities to watch my children take small flights. I recall them as children walking up a mountain without me. Because of the improper shoes that I was wearing, I couldn't travel with them to the top of the mountain with the rest of the group. Instead of keeping them with me, I let them go. This is part of being a mother. I had many feelings watching them disappear um, past and into the mountains and watching them exercise their independence, moving forward without fear. This is love in motion. I see love as having a big role in taking flight. This kind of love involves surrender, allowing children, youth, young adults, all people, the space to be themselves. This kind of love engages and leans into trust, trusting in each other and in the larger plan, trusting in the creator. This kind of love celebrates diversity and the uniqueness of individuals. It encourages expression of freedom, ensures that people feel a sense of belonging. And this kind of love is active in prayer and hopes for the best of today and for the future. I see hope all around me. Our youth personify and embody hope. On February 14th, 2021, USAS honored 41 Indigenous students for their academic achievement, leadership, research, resiliency, and community. I am very inspired by all of our First Nations, Métis, and Inuit students. They remind me of my life's purpose, my life's calling. In closing, I want to say that you are part of community. You embody hope. Be kind to yourself. Be forgiving to yourself. Allow yourself to make mistakes learn from them, move forward, sideways, backwards, but keep moving, keep growing. You are the next generation to take flight. You are the seventh generation. Get you miigwech. Dancy. I note we mamis Kukumino piisem. Vägi jo vii kuvissi jääk. Es teigis tiidema jääk. Nisnan. Aga nisnan uuti. Kiivit nukautut jääk. Ja kuua uupa uvi piisem tseti katana nisnan. I give me the goose yak. Who go me no? The gist did the mayak. Ye go our upa whippism. Kaisidi got a agnit nanny needle yak. Nanas homonan. I know Skagi Sagak. Ye 
gumistay mina na nas kumana na kugutogis ka noong magi o wisto ka pigis ka noong magi ito. Ako mina kuguta, wisto ka kausya at si kuguta. Ang sito yung puta ni Sibiga tayo ako ako. Ako ang wang ayaw. Kinuis ko ito at sige apat sa tawa. Iyago ako. Isto ay higita ko sa tatsik. Isto ay nomuwa ka na tatugisig ako. Igot sa utag ako at isig. Ego ho uta ina mo ina ida was tige ina ida was ina ida we was tige pisa mo gima ima yun kagido iwiritsik ina ida we ina ida was tige iya gumaga anos kapi tuti ago tapi wita mo ay ago Iniluyak, isig tagada si mo agagido ay nagtansto tago ak. Pinanas kumit na o agagido, gagipiwi sa miyak. Tapiayam miyak, tapiyatsa mo sa tago. Ay sinayam miyak nisna, nanas kumuna ni ukse. Tinigin. Hello everyone, again and welcome. And the elders just mentioned we are looking at the flying up moon. And Dr. Jackie has mentioned that when the little ones start to hatch and then they test their wings, they become stronger, they grow and they become stronger. And every, every uh, Grandmother Moon, we celebrate. We celebrate the growth of Mother Earth, the growth of the individuals, all the animals that we mentioned in our prayers. Those are the things that a lot of us do not pay attention to. And yet every little worm and every little bird and everything else that nature has loaned us has a purpose. And as we look at this rock, we see how it changed for people that walked through there for the past hundred years, all done in syllabics in remembrance of all our elders that have been here and have gone. So flying up moon in preparation for all the little goslings, all the birds, everything else that has wings, everything else that has grown on the ground, underwater and in the air will be will be going and climb their own mountain. So I want to thank Elder Evelyn for the beautiful prayer. And uh, I want to thank everybody for inviting us to be able to share this with you. So we thought, Hi, hi.